Mario returns again for one of his greatest adventures yet in Super Mario 3D Land for the Nintendo 3DS. And if you've been watching Classic Game Room for a while, you should know that I'm not a Mario super fan. I don't just love anything Mario blindly. Because I'm awful at side-scrolling platformers and my favorite Mario game remains Mario Brothers on Atari 2600. So take that into account when I tell you this game is amazing. It's hard to put down. In fact, if I had two 3DSs side by side, I would struggle to play this and Mario Kart 7 simultaneously. Would that be six dimensions? No, I would need two more eyes for that one. That's it, cybernetics, here I come. It's Ghost in the Shell, for real. I have so much footage for this game recorded, I'm not even sure what to show. This is the first level, and the first couple worlds are pretty easy. What you'll want to do is explore them thoroughly to find all of the stars that unlock the later levels. And stack up on your extra Marios, of course. What amazes me most about Super Mario 3D Land is the level design. It's creative, colorful, brilliant, and uses camera perspective in such a clever way. This may be the first Nintendo 3DS game to date where I feel like they planned it for 3D from the beginning. I mean, take for example Mario Kart 7. As, as good as that game is in 3D or 2D, it's Mario Kart. They really didn't change or reinvent the game for 3D, whereas Super Mario 3D Land had 3D in mind from the beginning. It is playable in 2D, we're watching it here in 2D, but imagine in 3D the level just falls away from you. Ah, Vertigo! Note the star on the top left of the screen there, gotta find a way down to it. That's what you'll be doing a lot of in this game, going up and going down. The 3D effect is quite handy for helping the player determine where Mario is in relation to his environment, and of course, the enemies. I should also mention the music and sound design is excellent, what you would expect from a Mario game. Hey, it's nice to see that Bowser takes a break from driving Mario Kart to be an enemy once again. Drastic mood swing Bowser. He's not bad, he's just misunderstood. <laughs> Here's an example of a creative level that I thought was pretty challenging. I lost a couple Marios before this round. Hopping makes the platforms change, and you'd better be careful where you're jumping. That was actually a fortunate mistake there, as I'm going to find a 1-up. Let's take a look at several other levels, and this is just the tip of the iceberg, of course. You know how these games are. I'm not going to give away spoilers, but fans of the Mario series should find practically endless enjoyment with Super Mario 3D Land. I think this level's pretty cool, and like other games in this series, although perhaps amplified because of the 3D effect, search everything and everywhere. Look behind things, in trees. Go where no Mario has gone before. 
Brilliant game. It feels like the developers sat in a room filled with bright colors and mushrooms from the Mario series and created levels from the ground up based on what would be cool in 3D. It doesn't totally change the formula, but it works on every level possible. This game also has some Street Pass features, and since it's one of Nintendo's flagship titles, I would hope to see some additional DLC in the future, which they can certainly do. It's not just a great Mario Land game for a portable system, it's a Super Mario 3D Land experience. Highly, highly recommended. Now, if only they would re-release the original Mario Brothers on the 3DS with enhanced 3D visuals to bring out the depth of the never-ending black background. Yeah. 